some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Athens, Alabama, at the local courthouse with Long Island Audit, as he attempts to impose his own tyrannical will on those who would work in the courthouse. But alas, the Long Island liar ends up getting kicked out once again. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this nincompoop get himself kicked out of the courthouse. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we are at the Limestone County Courthouse here in Alabama. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Yeah, we all know the little con game, dude. Uh, you claim you're going in there to uh, support uh, rights for everybody. You know, rights for me and not for thee. I mean, every time you get uh, caught doing something, you're always complaining about how you're being persecuted and everything like that. So, yeah, it's all about you. It's not about the public. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting inside the county courthouse. Let's take a look around. Friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we the people record them. Boring! Oh, oh geez, uh, Sean, get some freaking new material. I mean, come on now, dude. That's been uh, used to death and debunked to death. I mean, those uh, cameras are there for security reasons, they're not going to be sold uh, for profit on YouTube or any other video platform. They're there for the protection of the building, unlike your pathetic little camera, which is there uh, to record the interactions between you and anybody that you encounter for the entertainment of your gullible audience on YouTube, who also seem to have massive persecution complexes just like you do. District Attorney's Office here. Right across the hallway here we have the court clerk. district courtroom to our left always like to keep my audience riveted are you recording yeah who, who are you sir are you recording yeah i ask you who you are who am i I'm yes sir deputy. <laughs> yeah deputy you can't what record, you, Mill Ward, you can't record in the building why is that uh, circuit court no surprise uh, the uh Presiding circuit court judge has issued a court order. There's no recording in this building. I haven't seen any of that signage okay, or you're orders. you're not going to record, okay? Sean, in this uh, modern age of the internet, well, even 30 years ago, this kind of thing was no excuse. If you didn't know the rules of something, you could go to the... Uh, uh, proper authorities and ask about them. You could go to your local library. In this modern age, you could go on the internet and go to their website and look up these rules. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. It took me five minutes to find these rules, this particular rule on the internet. Uh, how, what is your excuse, Sean? Oh, is your head just too far up your ass to even use your computer properly? Is that the problem? Well, maybe you should pull your head out of your ass and act like a normal human being. But nah, that uh, crap on your eyes would just cloud your vision anyway and still make you look like a complete imbecile. So turn it off. I haven't you seen any of the signage okay, or the quit order. arguing. No one's arguing. Okay, yes you are. No, no, I'm not. you to turn it off. Turn it off. I understand what you're saying, sir, but there's turn no order. Turn it 
Where is the order? Can you show it to me? They've got it downstairs. They have it downstairs? Yes, sir. Let's go. Sure. We can take a look at the order. I don't know why you think people having conversations is arguing. <laughs> Communication. That's what it is. Oh, you uh, want to spout off the uh, communication thing, huh? You do realize that communication is a two-way street, active listening and talking. You see, with talking, you try to purvey the information, and with uh, active listening, that means actually listening to the other people. You get the information that you may need from them. You see, you and your other frauditor friends don't seem to have the... Uh, active listening part down you want to spout off everything that uh you want to spout off but you never seem to listen to anybody else which gets you guys into so much trouble because you guys refuse to listen to anybody oh yeah speaking of uh, getting in trouble and court uh, dates and everything like that how did your uh, lawsuit with uh, new york go oh yeah you failed in that when you failed in all the uh, appeals and everything like that Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Arguing is when somebody gets upset. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not upset. Are you upset? Nope. Sure. Sure. You looked upset for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm in the right. Where's that order about the recording? Again, you're gonna need to turn that off. Turn it off. You're fixing to get your order. When you do, I'm gonna look on that phone. I'm gonna erase that recording. So you might want to stop. You can't go into my phone. Yes, sir, I can. No, you cannot. I just spoke to your okay. sheriff. Here you go. I just spoke to Josh. Outside, sir. You can't record here. Let's go. Out. There's your thing. You can read it outside. Let's go. Let's I need go. Need to read the order. Outside, sir. And now you're being given an order to vacate the premises. Is that a lawful order? Yes, sir. Outside. Or now. you'll arrest me. If you refuse to leave, yes. If I refuse to leave, you'll arrest Let's me. Let's go. Great. That's all I needed to hear. Now I can hold you accountable in court. Come on now, dude. You threaten lawsuits all the freaking time. Yet uh, you rarely ever file them. And uh, your win-loss record is highly suspect. In fact, you may have won a couple of them, but... They were, they were, it was just mostly go-away money at that point. Then there was the uh, one you filed against the NYPD that ended up failing spectacularly. I mean, we're still kind of talking about that. And I'm sure your fellow frauditors in New York City are pretty pissed off with you because, well, it pretty much established that you can't film inside of the police departments in New York City, which that was their biggest uh, issue right there, was they wanted to do that, and you made it a lot harder for them. Congratulations, Sean. You're an incompetent moron. So there is a court order here. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, sir. Close the door outside the building. You can record all you want to out there on the outside that door. Let's go. I'm just making sure that this is valid. I'm making Let's sure go. this you is valid. You can read it outside because you're refusing to quit recording, so go outside. Yeah. What makes go you think outside. you can go you into can somebody's phone? What makes you think you, you can go can into somebody's outside, phone? outside, sir. I'm going. Go what, what, out now. What, what, what makes you think you can go into somebody's phone? What makes you think you can go into somebody's phone? What makes you think you can go into somebody's phone? I get a search warrant. I can go in any phone I want to. Get your hands off. Yes, sir. Get your hands off. Excuse me. I didn't want the door. Get your hands off me. What a tyrant. What a tyrant. <laughs> oh man, what a tyrant he was. All right, well, that was a really quick one. Fellow Patriots, while editing, I came across a video from 2022, the same year this unconstitutional order was implemented. The video features tyrant Deputy Wilward, the same deputy from this audit. Hey, long on the dumbass. Uh, you do realize for something to be unconstitutional, it has to be declared so by the courts, right? I mean, you yourself can't declare something unconstitutional just because you disagree with it. I mean, it won't hold any water in reality. But carry on with your uh, asinine analysis of this uh, 
video that you discovered because I ended up discovering it myself while I was doing a little research to try to debunk your video. So I have found that video and, uh, well, I'll probably end up uploading my version of it here in the next day or so. So thank you, Sean, for pointing me in the direction of another dumbass. I appreciate that very much. So let's carry on. Well, we're not gonna talk about this no more, okay? We're busy. So you don't go talk. About I get it. You don't have to be rude, sir. Rude. I I wear this because of rude people. Okay. I've done told you three times myself, and you won't I, listen. And I asked you Take if you could. Out of the building. I asked for the phone number to the judge's and you, office, and I asked it, for a copy the of the book. policy. That's all judge I asked wise, for. Judge wise, I'm not trying to be difficult. Presiding judge, he says no cameras. I wear this because I sometimes run into assholes like I you. I understand. And if you I'm just coming proper, to get. If you use profane language, me again. You're that's going to that's the also jail. that's okay, also this is a protected, public place. But but have it's also day, protected. Have a good content, day. Sir. Out. Go. You're a sergeant, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have a complaint form by chance? Yes, sir. You're What's his your supervisor. Name? Yeah, can you take it up with him? It seems that in two years, nothing has changed. Deputy Wilward absolutely hates the First Amendment, which is made clear by his statement: "If you use profane language again, I'm going to take you to jail." It's called free speech, Tyrant Wilward. Uh, Sean, uh, I think you're confusing everything right here. Uh, you are confusing the fact that there are statutes out there that are called disorderly uh, conduct statutes, and uh, many of them include the issues of fighting words, which this idiot that you're talking about here, this frauditor idiot that you're talking about, included those fighting words in his interactions with this uh, police officer right here. So your little uh, thing about him hating the First Amendment is a load of crap. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we were ordered to leave the courthouse under threat of arrest. Didn't even get a chance to read this order through very carefully. It's signed by Presiding Circuit Judge Chadwick Wise. It's from December 2022. Video cameras, body cameras, audio recording devices, and cameras with telephoto or interchangeable lenses are not permitted inside the courthouse without the express permission of presiding judge or chief of security cell phones are permitted but may not be used for a video so this is this is another thing I love to do ladies and gentlemen it's I get to expose our court system oh oh my goodness Sean the only thing that you ever expose is your own damn stupidity considering that we got the Tenth Amendment, which grants states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and this trickles down into the courts, the local courts, where the judges have authority to, to create security policies within the courthouse. But you frauditors just don't seem to get that, or you just don't think that security matters in a courtroom setting where somebody can get pissed off and, uh, well bring weapons or any kind of thing in there that can hurt somebody. Or you don't believe in uh, attorney-client privilege. Yeah, that's one thing you don't believe in because you want everything to be exposed. You want the uh, attorney-client privilege thing gone. Yeah, I think that's what it boils down to. There is no expectation of privacy in public. There is no expectation of privacy anywhere in your minds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the scary thing with these frauditors. They don't value anybody's privacy. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT 
and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands up right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? have been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.